Uh, we're waiting. I, I know there's uh, there's there's a problem with the streams today. I guess everyone are trying to do Facebook lives and streaming. So we are going to wait a little bit. Oh, I actually see that we are uh, we are live. If if you're seeing this, please uh, let us know. Um, post likes stuff so we'll we'll know that people are uh, are online. Um, we're speaking, we're actually having our first uh, supplier uh, Facebook Live. Up until now, we've only done agents. And uh, due to the popular request, we have uh, Lisa, Lisa Das from um, Apple Leisure Group. And uh, Lisa, just, just go ahead and start. We have, uh, we don't have a long session today. Uh, so we're going to try and uh, get to it all. Good. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us. And let me start by first saying thank you. Thank you for your professionalism, your patience, and your partnership as we go through a very difficult time together. So I know that not everything is clear, that you don't have all the answers when it comes to, to bookings with our brands on the land vacation side. And it, it, it's a very complicated product, so it, it's not a very black and white answer. Uh, very often. So we're doing our best to provide you all the tools. Uh, we're we're going to answer any questions that you may have. And uh, we put some, some great incentives in place to help you keep the bookings, to help your clients rebook so that you see that, that full commission down the road. So uh, I'm very happy to be here and to join you and, and talk to Roy and, and see uh, what we can do to help you as you move forward. Thank you. Um, so uh, can you uh, just um, give us a, a quick uh, brief about what, what is ALG? What, what are the brands? What does... Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Apple Leisure Group Vacations is what we're known as today. And Apple Leisure Group Vacations consists of six different land vacation brands, which many of you probably know and book with very often. So uh, our three big flagship brands are Apple Vacations, FunJet Vacations, and Travel Impressions. And then you have Blue Sky Tours, which is our big Hawaii operator. And then you have our airline brands, which is Southwest Vacations and United Vacations. So those are all managed by Apple Leisure Group Vacations. Uh, great. Uh, something that I forgot to mention, we, we do have, uh, we, this is the first time that we're trying this, but we do have uh, uh, Ileana, which is, uh, she's uh, our RBDM for our travel planners, and she's on the line as well. Um, so she is going to try and answer some of the questions that are uh, going to be posted. Um, and uh, just, just to you know, set expectations regarding the questions, um, we can't get into specific uh, bookings. So if you have a specific situation, a specific case, we, we won't be able to resolve it at, at this time with this uh, video, but uh, we will provide at the end uh, email addresses, contacts where you can send uh, requests and questions. Um, we've also seen a lot of questions about bulk tickets that we're trying to, we, I, we already made the request and we're going to try and uh, follow up and see. And as soon as I get answers, I'll, I'll let everyone know. Um, I did also send all the questions. Um, you know, we're, we're going to try and review all the questions that you sent us uh, before on the original post. And, and, and uh, we'll see if I can help you uh, resolve it. Um, so um, let, let's continue. I, I know you guys have a, a COVID-19 uh, reference page with a lot of information and policies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, we do. So one of the first things that we did was go into VAX. You can see updates on destination information, what destinations that were waiving cancellation uh, and change fees because of close closures in those destinations. You can see information about AM Resorts and the offers they're providing in terms of, of uh, rebooking your clients. Uh, you can see self-help videos and tutorials in writing that tell you exactly how to do a lot of the changes and cancellations right in back so you don't have to call in. So we tried to put as much information as we can to assist you and we continue to update it each and every day with, with you know, new information that, that comes out in regards to the situation. So, so if you have questions, I would always say go to VAX first. I provide direct links to the, the important pages 
And if you can't find your answer there, then, then you can check with your BDM. Um, and if it's a, a specific reservation question, I mean, our number one question we get is, I have this booking. How much would my client get refunded? How much would my client get as a travel credit? Um, that is not something your BDM can assist you with. Only reservations can assist you with. So they have to look at the particular booking. They got to see the rules of the air and the hotel. They need to look and see what the travel protection is. And they will give you the, app, the specifics in regards to that booking. Okay. So, guys, again, remember, BDM is the business development manager. They're not um, customer care. They can't assist you with specific reservations. But as, as uh, Lisa mentioned to me before, the, there are emails that you can send and you can reach out to customer care. Uh, they said, I know I've tried uh, earlier the, in the week and it took me almost two hours to, to, to get someone. But I, I was told the times are now averaging at about 15 yeah. minutes, 20 minutes, um, which is We've seen a, a big hours. reduction. Yeah, we've seen a big reduction in calls. So you should be, get, be able to get through, no problem, whether it's general reservations or if you're a top producer and need to get through the premium line, you should see minimal waits to get the, your questions answered. So anything specific to a booking, that's the avenue you want to go to get the details on that. Um, if you, uh, and, and what we can do is we can kind of backtrack a minute and say, well, what, what are you offering? What is Apple Leisure Group Vacations and the brands doing right now to assist my clients in making decisions about their bookings? So right now we have a program called Rebook Now, Recharge Later. So if your client does not have travel protection on the booking, and they want to consider rebooking. They can either rebook now or they can wait. We're giving anybody that had a booking made prior to 320 for travel through 531 this year. The fees are the the fees, the ALGV fees are being waived, and you can decide to rebook the reservation now or any time before travel of 12 15 21. Um, and if you decide to rebook, your client is going to get 25% travel credit on top of whatever refund they would have gotten if they chose to cancel. So, um, so we're giving you an incentive and giving you a, a, something that you can offer your clients in terms of reasons why they should rebook instead of just canceling out their booking. So no travel protection, that travel credit you'll get an extra 25% and that is applied to any money that is already on the booking. And that would be minus any penalties that you might hit with, with the air or with the hotel. So if you were going to get a refund of a thousand dollars back, you would get $1,250 back as a travel credit for a future vacation. So uh, if you choose to cancel, well then um, if you have no travel protection, that will all be based on whatever the, the penalties are with hotel and air, and you would get that uh, refund back as you normally would. Um, it is taking up to 90 days for us to refund right now. Hopefully not that long, but that we've had quite a few reservations rebooking and, and canceling, so we are a little behind. Okay. Uh, how does um, the, the credit, how, how does it work? So they get 100, and, is it a voucher? Is it, yep. Does it get transferred to a new booking? What do they need to do? Uh, what you can do to, to, to process your travel credit uh, is you can go right into VAX, you can cancel the existing booking that you have now, and you can, um, what you want to do is not go ahead and ask for a refund. Cancel the booking, don't ask for a refund at that time. Once you make the new booking, you then put that new booking information in the old booking, in, and you just follow the directions we have in VAX to do that. And what we will do is we will send out, and we're averaging about two to three weeks right now, we will send out a letter stating, you know, we've received your cancellation, we've reviewed your booking and your travel credit with the 25% bonus is this. And then when your client is ready to book, you went, go ahead and use that travel credit that's on the old booking and move it to the new booking. So the new uh, booking, how does it hold? Do they need to make the deposit, the payments? What... Um... All they need to do on the new booking is put $1 down to hold the booking. We will not cancel any bookings that have at least a dollar down as a deposit to hold the booking. We know that our transfers are taking a little bit of time, so we will not be canceling any bookings um, with uh, as long as a dollar is down on the booking. Okay. And this is applicable to any departures up 
to May 31st or? Yes, yes. This is for anything booked, again, prior to 320 for travel through 531 of this year. Right now we're waiving the ALG fees and we're offering this bonus credit for rescheduling your booking. So we don't have any information beyond that date at this point. That That is the, uh, the program uh, right now is for travel through the end of May. And if it is a outside of that time frame, normal cancellation and change fees would apply. Okay. If I cancel the booking, do I need to rebook immediately? Do they have time to think about it? What is there a time frame? You are. It's very flexible. What you want to do is if uh, is you definitely want to cancel the booking prior to the date that they're supposed to travel. But okay. then you have the flexibility to rebook any time before twelve fifteen twenty one. What has to happen is the booking has to be made, obviously, before 12, 15, 21, and it has to be traveled, completed travel by that date. Okay. And uh, just, and we can cancel. Just don't request a refund. If you don't request a refund. That's um, the key. And all these instructions are in VAX in that self-help guide that, that I shared with Roy, which we'll share with all of you. It gives you a, a tutorial in a video, and it also gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. I, I read a lot of the, again, for the questions that people ask, a lot of the information is listed um, on all the scenarios and all the videos. Mm -hmm. So I, I highly recommend that everyone uh, watches it. I personally, I have to admit, I haven't seen them all, but I will try and see. And if I can answer some of these questions based on what I uh, saw and read, I'll, I'll try and do it. But again, a lot of these questions can be answered by just viewing the videos and, and all the information that is listed. Um, so some of the things that you've mentioned that we have to call in, what, what can we do on our own? Is there... Um... If, if your client, um, if you, what you can do is if your client is does have travel protection and you are just looking for a refund, you can do all of that online. You do not need to call in. If your client doesn't need to know the exact dollar amount. They know they want to rebook, that they want to travel, they want to take advantage of that 25% bonus credit, is you can actually take care of that as well in VAX and do it yourself. And then we will email you from accounting the specifics on what that exact credit is. So, uh, but it, it, you know, you can still do that once you call customer care if you want to own it and manage it yourself as well. Uh, there's a lot of, there's probably 18 different scenarios that you can do online yourself. The, the one thing you can't do is determine what that dollar amount credit is um, by looking at your booking. We just don't have that functionality in VAX. We're trying to put some tools in place that we can put on VAX that may guide you. But at this point, the only way to find that out is by calling the customer care center. Okay. And um, w when we talked about rebooking and, and canceling, we talked about options without, a cance without the insurance. Did, what about with insurance? Okay, if somebody has travel protection on the booking and they want to cancel, they can do just like they always have. They can, you can cancel the booking, request the refund. They're going to get back all of their money bes uh, besides the cost of the travel protection. So uh, you cancel, you ask for a refund, full, full refund back minus the cost of protection. If they would prefer to get the travel credit, then what they'll do is they'll get the full value of the package including the travel protection that's on the booking. All of that will get a 25% bonus. And then they can use that future credit to make a booking and follow the, the, uh, the procedures. So, um, so we're, we're giving you back full 25% bonus on all of the booking where, uh, in terms of the money that's down on the booking, including the travel protection um, for you if you have the travel protection on the booking. Okay. And um, regarding the new bookings or new bookings in general, um, I, I know there's a change because a lot of uh, um, companies, a lot of insurance companies, they cancel the cancel for any reason and you guys are using the, uh, the policies. So it, it affects the deposit. It's, it's affecting uh, the amounts, I assume, right? Right now, yes. If, if you're making a new booking for future travel, then, of course, our normal policies and procedures are, are in place for all of the brands outside of, of travel, you know, through May 31st. So any new bookings would, would follow our normal policies and procedures. We did institute an increase in our minimum deposit uh, for AIR uh, 
last week as well. And again, uh, we had very, very low deposits in the past and we were extremely competitive and we still are competitive even with increasing those deposits uh, minimally. So uh, that, that, is, that is a new change that uh, puts a little bit more ownership to the client in terms of, of putting a little bit more money down on the booking. And, you know, this is a, this is a, this is a change in, in the world right now. This is a change in how we have to do business. And that was a, a business decision we felt that we needed to make at this time. Okay. And I think, but it's still the United vacations and Southwest vacation still has the lower deposits or they do. They still have reduced deposits. United vacations went from $200 per person to 250. Um, and Southwest Vacation still has their reduced deposit program as well. So, so yes. Okay. And if I can, if I add the insurance on new bookings, it's still a cancel for any reason or is it, it still is a cancel for any reason, including cashback program. Yes. We, uh, we did go back and forth last week, uh, a couple of days where we were going to move it to a travel credit only. And we have since due to cut to agent feedback, we changed that and it is still a cashback program. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're, I mean, it seems like we're answering some of these questions as we go. Um, let me see if I have, um, uh, I have, a, I have a question here. We talked about the, the self hate, uh, the self uh, help page. We, we, we touched on it, right? Or yeah, we did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you, do you have any idea? Do you see people still booking new trips? Is there a trend? Is there new promotions? People looking for, for deals? I, I will say right now that we are, we are not doing marketing in the marketplace at this time, uh, at least for this past week. And we are watching to see how things progress. And then we'll go back out to marketing once we feel the timing is right. Um, you know, we're more focused right now with agents in terms of, of taking care of clients that already have bookings. And then, you know, there's plenty of different offers out there if you are, are looking to book um, going forward. But you're probably not seeing a lot of that being marketed at this point. Uh, you know, so, um, so, you know, do we have a crystal ball? And when this is all going to end, I'm hoping it's a couple weeks. I'm hoping we're a few weeks out from from some of this being lifted and, and, and life getting back to normal. Um, we can only hope, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I see a question here from uh, Karen that actually hosted uh, our, our Disney session yesterday. Uh, he said, uh, what's, oh, and, and it went away. <laughs> <laughs> it just runs so fast. But uh, the question, okay, what happens for bookings that were made earlier? So prior to uh, 320, um, Anything made prior to 320 that travels by 531 has that has the option for that 25% bonus credit. Anything Even if it, uh, what, what happened if it's not paid in full? Yeah, there's still a chance that it's not paid in full. If what it's not paid in full. If it's not paid in full, what we're going to do is we're going to provide that 25% bonus on the amount of money that is on the booking. Okay, so whatever amount of money is on the booking is what's going to get the 25% credit. Okay. Uh, any specific uh, rules regarding if it's, a, uh, if it's a charter flight, if it's uh, the, the specific? It's for any, uh, yeah, a anything booked prior to 320, we are offering those, um, the, the change fees to be waived and um, providing that flexibility and that travel credit as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, some people are saying, I think we talked about it before, that they're the, at customer service, they're not getting, uh, they're getting conflicting answers. They're getting something that they think that is not as it's supposed to be. Um, I think our recommendation was, again, to send it by email, to have it in writing, and then transfer yeah. it to the BDM for them to review. Is that the yeah. If you know, keep in mind the customer care center, think about how much has changed in the past week. A lot has changed in the past week. Destinations closing every day. There's been a lot of, of policies and procedures that, that our team has had to keep up with. And then they're quoting you most likely the policy that's good at that very moment, which could change 30 minutes later because the destination is shut down. So they're doing their best to provide you the most up-to-date, accurate information at that time. But we're also dealing with people. We've got all our entire team, our entire company is home-based right now. We have all of our offices closed. 
and we're doing our best to have to to provide our employees and our customer care team with the most up-to-date training but i'm sure just like when you're dealing with anything with people we're going to make some mistakes we're, so if you get something and you really feel like you know what this doesn't sound right this is conflicting what i believe is right that would be the time maybe to reach out to your bdm or email um, into the customer care and say, here's my booking. This one being told, you know, I think it should be this. Can you please explain? And let us get that to you in writing, okay? So, you know, we're not perfect. Uh, this is not, uh, definitely not something we, anyone was prepared for, but I think we're doing the best we can in providing you the best service and the tools so that you can make informed decisions for your clients so that they can move forward and hopefully planning that vacation that um, that right now has been delayed due to things outside their control. Okay. Uh, there's some questions about uh, AM Resorts. I know AM Resorts sent out a policy regarding protecting the old rates, allowing mm -hmm. changes, refunds. Yep. Um, whatever AM Resorts sent out, uh, the ALG brand will follow, whatever the okay. policy is. Let me give you an update on that. Um, AM Resorts did roll out a really great program where they're even offering an extra, a free day uh, for rescheduling. So um, we are expected to have out today and I expect it to be in VAX today, if not the latest by tomorrow, is the exact way to handle a rebooking with AMR to be able to take advantage of that, that, that great offer that they have out there. So I know it's not there yet. It's something that our, you know, our team has been looking for as well so that we can guide when we get those questions. Um, but we will have the ability to provide you that incentive that AMR is offering and be able to do it with all of our brands. You should have the answers and the ways to do that within 24 hours. Okay, good, good. That's uh, great news. Um, I, I saw a question, something about... Um, um, well, people are talking about the uh, uh, cancellation fees and change fees for the airlines. We, we touched on it before. And again, it's, it's an issue that I, I guess now uh, came up when you're dealing with bulk tickets. Bulk tickets are different than the regular published rates. They have different rules. Um, we are trying to, I've, I've heard it a lot. I've seen it. We have issues in our agency as well. So um, for some of you that missed the beginning, we sent out a request. We are going to try and somehow resolve it or at least get them an answer as to what to do, whether they'll allow us to um, refund after one year in case of United for a bulk ticket, or can you follow the regular policies of uh, published rate tickets on the bulk as well? So we don't have an answer to it. Uh, we are going to try and see if we can get some sort of an answer. Um, yeah, and just to add to that, if you if you have a question about a hotel or an airline, um, the, the, the best resource right now is to go to their individual sites to see what they're saying in regards to different situations. So that'll at least guide you in terms of the policies. We are following their policies. So if, if you want to know about published air or you want to know about this situation, um, you often can find your answers on their direct sites as well. Um, so just, just another tool until we can provide something, you know, more helpful. Um, you can get an idea of what the situation might be by looking at their sites. Right. It's just similar with the ones that we did on airlines and consolidators. It's published air go. We have a table. We put in all the links of all the airlines. Just follow yep. them. And again, it changes all the time. Regarding both, yep. that's, that's a different issue that we're going to try and see what we can do. Um, we, when, we uh, when yes, yeah, sorry. I was going to say, we do have links to all the airline sites in VAX, uh, on our self-help pages. So, uh, if you, you know, again, everything is in there to get you to the, the, the most accurate information. Okay. The, there was a question about the hundred, the 25% bonus, the 25%, if they reschedule, is that on the land portion or, and on the, what, or the air is included? What? It depends. I know it's, it's it's another great question. Is um, it depends on the airline situation, and uh, I would say predominantly it is on the land side because the air often has different rules. We we put out the travel window through twelve fifteen twenty one, but many of the airlines are not going quite that far out. So the airport air part may have a different rule in terms of booking and rescheduling and travel date that you must adhere to. And then the land may have a, a further out window. So we put our window out very, very far to make sure that we covered any of the airline policies so that you could use your air and land together. 
Okay, but the bonus itself, the 25 bonus, will be on the land portion? Will be on the land portion. It really, what it is, is it's on the dollar. If you were to get a refund on that booking, and we were and we're refunding, you know, if there's a credit on the, the air and the land, it would be on whatever that amount would be that we would be putting on your client's credit card. It would apply to that dollar amount. So if I were to cancel now, mm -hmm. uh, and let's say my hotel, my hotel is closed. I, I want to go. The hotel is closed. Uh, so the air, airfare is not refundable, but the hotel portion is refundable, right? Because the hotel canceled. That amount, we will get 25% in case we don't cancel and push it to, and, and reschedule? In theory, yeah. I, I, I hate to get into scenarios because I, I'm going to leave something out and you're going to have an exception and that's not going to apply. Okay. So I, I'm going to go in back. In theory, to the, that, that's yeah. kind of, don't expect to get 25% bonus on the air portion. It should be on the. You will definitely get it on the land. It will just depend on the rules of the air. Okay. Um, yeah, bulk air. We touched a lot of questions about bulk air. Um, and, and I'll just, while you're looking at questions, is we have an Apple Leisure Group Vacations Facebook page. Uh, they post any of the latest updates and information on that page. So a, a suggestion would be to friend that page so that you would get any notifications of anything new that's going on in regards to our brands or or the destinations that we sell. So just a just a, a helpful hint uh, and so another tool to help you uh, stay on top of what's going on. Okay, any specific uh, changes, rules regarding groups or it's the same thing? What about group? Regard okay, regarding groups, if it's a FIT group, a flexible group, Groups Your Way, that type of group program where you're using a promo code, you're going to process the changes much like you would any other FIT booking. If it's a contracted group, then you need to contact your service team for that particular group and let them know what you want to do. And they will give you your options and what, what we can do to, to move it. If there's any penalties, et cetera, each contracted group is being handled individually as, as questions come in. Okay. Um, yes, only through May. Uh, again, as, as, go by, as, you know, as time goes by, I'm sure, uh, some of the things will get extended. I know, uh, some of the airlines they have, they had it initially to rebook until the end of the year. Delta pushed it until, uh, March or even May. Um, so everyone is adjusting. Cruise lines have added another month. So as we go along, it's possible that June will come up, but we, we don't know yet. Uh, we, um, I wish we knew, but we don't know what's going on. Yep. Um, something about is the AM uh, is the AM Resorts policy combinable with the twenty five percent? It should be, yeah, because that, that's that's uh, an so AM. You just get a credit for yeah. the amount, and then you just yeah. it's like a new booking if they have. So it, it, again, it should be check regarding your specific situation. In but, fact, Ileana just responded, yes, it is. Yeah, because that is an individual hotel offer, and our offer is at the brand level. So, yes, they are combinable. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, I just see that Ileana's yeah. – uh, yeah, it didn't work. We, we, try to have, uh, we try to have another person answer the questions, but um, if they're not in the group, they can't, I guess, respond. We'll, we'll, figure, it, we'll figure it out for later. <laughs> uh, our first uh, supplier who can't be in the group. Uh, but we'll we'll figure out. Maybe we'll have like a demo uh, um, user for Facebook, like a fake profile or something that a person can log in and just. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, uh, bulk air if it's canceled or given in flight voucher again. We need to figure out regarding bulk. I know the privilege, the benefit when you're using the bulk ticket is that the ticket is refundable with a fee. So you have the option to either keep it as credit, follow the airline's policy regarding changes, but if you want to refund it, you still have the option for a fee. They're not waiving the bulk fees for refund. Uh, and again, we are going to try and see if, uh, if the regular rules apply on bulk as well. Um, 
Okay, so we've. Uh, I, I promised Lisa that we're not going to uh, keep her here for, for long. Uh, and I will try and go over the policies to read. I am going to post uh, all the emails and the and the pages that we talked about uh, to try. Uh, just just read it. Just review it. Watch the videos. We have some time. I know it's frustrating. I know it takes time. Uh, also, they said that the the time the whole times are. Uh, not as bad right now, um, so so try it. I know I will. Uh, if you have questions, post them on the group. Uh, reach out to your BDM if you got any conflicting answers. See that it's listed one thing and it's listed uh, and and you're getting a different answer. Um, just try to reach out to your BDM and they will try and resolve it. Don't email your BDM with a specific that you haven't even called customer service to save everyone's uh, time. Yeah. Yes. And, and remember, we're in this together. We're partners through this. Um, we want ultimately your customers to have a great travel experience. So, so let's work together, uh, answer questions and, and, and have that outcome where the customer is rescheduling, you know, while you were scheduling, getting that 25% credit, you're providing them an extra value on their vacation. Maybe that's an excursion. Maybe that's an upgraded room. So it's a really great value to provide your client and it helps you keep the booking so you can get 100% of your commission on that booking when it travels. So um, so take advantage of that. That is the, the best deal going for us right now. And um, let's let's get people traveling. Hopefully in the next month or two, uh, we can we can see things um, getting better. So perfect. Thank you. And if okay. anyone missed uh, the beginning of the video, once uh, once it ends, you can go back to it and see it from the beginning. Um, again, post questions. We'll try and answer. There's a lot of people here on the group that can answer. And if um, I, I know how to reach Lisa, and if if we need mm -hmm. something. Yes, absolutely. All right. Wonderful. So thank you thank again. You again. Thank you. Have a great weekend and hopefully uh, better better news. Better weekend. Everyone stay well. Thank you. Thank you.